I'm Scott L. Miller. It's the 23rd of June, 2022, and I'm here in Antigua, Guatemala. We are here on vacation, and welcome to my vlog of daily life in Central America. Uh, if you've been watching the show, you know that we left uh, Nicaragua, traveled by bus yesterday, and today we are here in Antigua. This is our only full day currently scheduled here. Um, but we have something really exciting. So Yvonne and I came up. We were planning on being here until July 4th, which is not going to change. Um, but yesterday, while I was on the bus, I had a whole bunch of time, obviously, sitting with a phone and not a lot to do. But I was able to chat with people. It's the one thing I was able to get done. Um, and I spent a bunch of time talking to Valentina, who does our thumbnails and is, does, does our, my logo and all kinds of stuff. Um, and uh, it's, the power has been out. She's from Mary to Yucatan. And she's been like, it is so hot. I'm just dying. And I'm like, you know, Guatemala is the eternal spring. Like, it's nice and cool. There's going to be rain a lot this week. We've been trying to get you to come. She's like, yeah, yeah. And then she's like, you know, it is really hot here. I'm like, it's, it's an easy flight down. And she's like, let's do it. She's coming down on Saturday. She's going to be joining us for the rest of the trip. So the only thing she's missing is here in Antigua. Uh, so, I mean, we're super excited. Never actually met Valentina in person even though we've worked together for four years. Like, this is this is crazy. I've never managed to go to Mexico to meet her. She's never managed to come to the US or Nicaragua to meet me. And uh, um, and she and Yvonne work together, so we're all gonna get to hang out. We're have, it's gonna be a lot of fun. And she's obviously works on this channel every day. Um, so very cool that she's gonna be here. You guys see like the stuff that she does all the time and she gets mentioned. So that's very exciting. Unfortunately, this morning here in Antigua, uh, started off with, I had a work emergency, which always happens when I'm on vacation. It's absolutely awful. And I ended up having to pull out my laptop and go to work um, pretty much continuously for the entire day. So we, we slept in a little bit this morning. I'm gonna come in here and show where I've been working because this is like my makeshift, makeshift office here uh, in the hotel. I've got uh, my laptop set up, things charging. Um, this is where we have breakfast and uh, breakfast is included here, which is really nice, uh, just continental. And um, so I got up and had to work for quite a bit and Yvonne's like starting to get like, I'm getting kind of itchy, she wants to go do stuff. So we managed to get breakfast uh, and, and, and hang out here a little bit. Um, and then I'm like, I have to, I have to go like work from my phone guys. So we went out into Antigua and walked around. We did a good amount of walking, not a ton. It wasn't like setting any records, uh, but we, we went to the market and did some shopping. She's really into market shopping. So we really worked on that. Um, went to several markets. <laughs> We went to uh, the main uh, plaza and started, we went to the cathedral. We actually paid and went in and did the, uh, the old cathedral uh, of San Juan that has um, fallen down in the earthquake um, in 1773. So that's like a huge thing to come see here because it's really, really neat. Uh, they have rebuilt the front 20% of it and it is an active chapel. The back 80% is just a ruins, but you can pay $3 and go in. And it was, it was really interesting. That I highly recommend. We also also went to um, uh, an art museum here in town and that was seven dollars to get in and was really short and not all that good um, the exhibits were, were pretty weak um, and very small and both of us were like that was not worth it at all the church was absolutely worth it at three dollars the art museum maybe at two but it at seven it was just we were through it so fast and there was not that much that we actually wanted to see and a lot of the exhibits were, were ruined like heavily destroyed um, unfortunately, the, there's a really major art museum in town that's supposed to be fantastic. And there was a guard there and we talked to him and he's like, yeah, they're putting in a new exhibit, so it's closed today. And we're like, oh, how much does it cost? He's like, it's free, but you can't even step in to take pictures. We're like, no. So we really wanted to do that, but we might be able to do it later in the week. We're gonna be returning to Antigua. Um, and we have more friends joining us at the end of the week. So there's like so many people gonna be here. Uh, it's, it's pretty cool. We're, we're excited, it's somehow, Guatemala ends up being like this confluence of people, and I've never been here, right? Neither Yvonne or I have ever uh, set foot in Guatemala, and it's funny that we're meeting people here now, um, but uh, that, that was pretty cool. So those are like the big things we did. Um, and uh, then we did more, more shopping. We like walked through and found like home furnishing stores and lots of different like little things. One of the really cool things we did for lunch, uh, we went and found a Taco Bell, because Yvonne has never been to a Taco Bell. 
I don't think she's ever had like authentic Tex-Mex. Not that Taco Bell is like super authentic, but it's real. Like that's, it's the largest Tex-Mex restaurant. So knock it if you want to, but it's like McDonald's is kind of American burgers, whether you like it or not. Um, they're not the best, but they're kind of indicative, right? Um, but so we went to a Taco Bell and the Taco Bell here in Antigua is by far the, not just the best Taco Bell I've ever been to. It is quite without peer the best fast food restaurant I've ever been to from a, just how much they put into it. And we have some nice ones down here in Central America. This is off the hook. Um, fount multiple fountains and gardens and just the most beautiful everything. Um, electronic ordering. Um, pretty consistently, we also found an ATM this morning. Everything we've been finding here in Antigua is like more modern than we're used to in the United States. Certainly more modern than Nicaragua. So here, even in this colonial city, Guatemala so far in this little bit we've had, gives an incredible feel of being very, very modern uh, just everywhere. And the internet has been really good everywhere we've gone. Um, the cell service has been good. Like just everything is very on point as far as tech and modernization while still having like an old European, old Mexican feel to a lot of things. Not to, not to compare, like, compare regions, but you have to have something to reference against, right? Because um, it's very different than Southern uh, Central America, right? Two very different regions, even though it's all Central America. Um, and obviously from here, Mexico is not far, right? It, it's uh, Chiapas and that is, is relatively close. Um, and the Yucatan to the north. Uh, from there we went, we did a, bit, a bu bunch of walking and a bunch of shopping. And on the whole time I'm like working on my phone. Uh, we went to like the artisan markets, which are very interesting, found lots of cool stuff. Uh, didn't buy anything, like we're just looking now, but we'll be back, you don't have to carry things for the whole time. Um, and then we went to a coffee shop and just hung out and they don't have like coffee hangout culture in Nicaragua. So like that for Yvonne was very kind of new, not like she's never seen a coffee shop, but the whole like sitting out on the main square and big comfy couches, and, like really like they bring you stuff. It's like that whole very American European coffee vibe thing was pretty cool. She was very excited about that. And we had a really nice time, spent several hours uh, doing that. And then we went back to the hotel so I could really work for several more hours and focus and have my laptop and be really dedicated to work. It was a really rough work day. I can't stress enough. Like it sounds like we're having fun in Antigua. The whole time I am stuck working a lot and my team is working. I'm trying to help and direct. Like it was exhausting. We had people screaming at each other. Mostly me. I did a lot of screaming. Like, for real. Yvonne's like, oh my gosh! Like, she's never seen me that mad. I was pretty mad. There was a lot of pretty mad going on. And, uh, uh, so after we were back at the hotel for a while, she talked to friends who had spent some time here and who had lived here, and are like, where should we go eat? Where should we go eat? And we got a recommendation for Once Once, which is a vegan restaurant. Well, I guess it's vegetarian, but mostly vegan. Um, not too far away, but far enough. And it started raining because uh, it, it's pretty cold here. It's actually, you think, most people feel, especially coming from the United States, you think of Guatemala as a very hot place because it's, it's tropical and it's just how we picture it, right? It's actually mostly a very chilly place. Um, most of the day, it was, it never really got above 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and at night, it's getting down to like the low 50s, not quite to 50, but like 52 to 54. Um, it's chilly much of the time and then rainy, uh, which is beautiful. And we're down here in the valley. If you look like imagine if you were to be up on the hills, like you, it's hard to always tell scale when you're on the on the video, but those are way up there. And I'm going to turn around and show you some of these like just everywhere in Antigua are these mountains. It's it's continuous. Um, and then the, the really big one is right here. I don't have a complete view of everything, but several of those are the big volcanoes. Uh, and um, so, yeah, it's, it's a very chilly, but so we got a taxi and we went to Once Once and had this amazing dinner. It was, it was, it was quite fantastic. It was very fancy. The play, the whole setting was very modern. Um, you get that incredibly urban, modern feel in a lot of the stuff here, at least in Antigua. And I believe we're going to get the same thing in Guatemala city. And that's, that's really neat here in Central America. It's so different than what we're used to, uh, in the Southern countries. Um, and uh, so we got a tapas platter and wine uh, with like um, soy wontons and dumplings and chips. And I can't remember all the things. Like it was, it was really good though and very interesting. And then we split a thing of vegetarian. Uh, so it's tofu finger sushi. And we, uh, we also got um, uh, cauliflower alitas, which are basically chicken wings. So coated cauliflower that's been fried uh, tacos uh, with chipotle sauce. And we thought it was gonna be not that much food. It was a lot of food. We could not finish 
any bit of it. Like we still had taco left over, we still had sushi left over, we still had tapas left over. Um, and then Yvonne got her first ever, I've been telling her about it for a while, creme brulee. Uh, and it's dairy free uh, because it's vegan. So it, it really, really good uh, maracuña, which is passion fruit. So here, maracuña is passion fruit. Uh, Kalala is passion fruit in Nicaragua. It's a local Nicaraguan word. So you hear us say it a lot. You see a lot of things called it Kalala down there. Um, our friends who lived here, their dog's name is Kalala. Um, but maracuña is the normal word for it. So I have to remember that in Spanish outside of Nicaragua. Wait, it's maracuña. Um, and, and everybody eats it. It's very popular. And the fruits in the market here are just fantastic. So many fruits. Um, it's uh, really neat, right? And tons of like tomatillos, which you don't see very much of um, in Nicaragua. Just it's a, it's a different fruit market. And so up here, there's also lots of strawberries and raspberries and blueberries and stuff like that um, that are more, more cold weather fruits. So we went to dinner, um, did that, and some of our plans changed. So after dinner, we made it back, had about two hours. Yvonne napped, I worked like crazy the entire evening. Uh, and um, she got picked up a little bit after midnight and is off to do her mushroom uh, hunting in the mountains. And she's gonna be doing that the next few days. Tomorrow, um, I'll be here alone in Antigua in the morning and then heading to Guatemala City. Now, the reason that things changed so much is because we got here and all of our original plans were based on there being a highway. So Antigua to Guatemala City is about 25 minutes, but because the highway's out, it's now three hours. That changes absolutely everything in our plans. It is horrible. Um, and, and messing things up a lot. We have to go to Guatemala City though, because that's where Yvonne's gonna be staying with her mushroom hunting, and it's where Valentina's flying into, and of course, I really want to see it. So at this point, we didn't have, I worked so much, I worked until 2 a.m., uh, 3 a, yeah, 2 a.m., and uh, uh, have not had a chance to, to, we have not found a hotel yet in Guatemala City for tomorrow, right? So uh, so on the 24th, we gotta, I, I gotta figure out how to get all packed up, work in the morning because things are not resolved. So I'm, Ozzy and I are both getting up and working in the morning, that's gonna be awful. Uh, I have to pack up, get breakfast, get things resolved as much as possible, get to a bus somehow, get, take a three hour awful chicken bus ride to Guatemala City, which 25 minutes would be nothing but three hours on the, ugh. And, um, and then I have to figure out once I get there how to get to a hotel that I don't have yet. I have a lot of things in motion that I have to do alone in Guatemala, it's gonna be, pretty rough tomorrow. I'm not particularly looking forward to all the things I have to deal with. And I'm way behind on these videos because of all the things I just said. So tomorrow is going to be nothing but a logistics day. And uh, hopefully I'm able to at least get some shorts up for you guys. And I'm sorry, really sorry that I've not been able to walk around Antigua. It is such a beautiful city. And I got just the tiniest bit of pictures yesterday, uh, but there was no way to really film because I had to be on my phone working the whole day. All right, thanks for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe. There's gonna be lots of good stuff coming. I swear, there's not gonna be me working all the time. And with Valentina coming, we're, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be really cool. I'll see you all tomorrow.